The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has dismissed the United States' concern over its nuclear weapons program, claiming its interference in Pyongyang internal affairs. At a news conference in New York, the country's deputy permanent representative to the UN condemned moves in the Security Council to toughen sanctions in light of North Korea's most recent ballistic missile tests, which violates countless council resolutions. He believes rising security tensions in the Korean Peninsula were the result of provocative joint military exercises between the United States and South Korea, while accusing the UN Security Council and the Secretariat of jumping to Washington's tune. The UN Security Council does not call the United States to account for its aggressive and provocative, the large-scale joint military exercise and ICB, ICBM launches. DPRK will never recognize any UN Security Council resolution taken over the DPRK's ballistic, ballistic rocket launches, but continue to disclose the absurdity of the UN sanctioned resolution. The act of the UN Secretariat is identical. Council met earlier this week behind closed doors as negotiations towards a further toughening of the DPRK sanctions regime that started in 2006 got underway in earnest. What is more serious is that the United States crying out for sanction resolutions uh, which have lost its uh, legitimacy of the legality and impartiality and intimidates the international community and inspire others with highly intensified sanction and diplomatic pressure against the DPRK, the claiming that all countries are decided whether they support for DPRK or the United States. United States Ambassador Nikki Haley this week warned countries that violated current sanctions against the DPRK to choose if they stand with Pyongyang or the international community. If Trump or the administration had truly wanted to adopt a new policy towards the DPRK and drawing the lesson from the preceding the administration's failure, it should go for replacement of the armistice agreement between the DPRK and the United States and a peace accord and a total removal of hostile relations so as to help ensure the lasting peace of the Korean Peninsula and for the more global peace and security. An armistice signed in 1953 ended hostilities in the Korean War, but no final peace settlement has ever been achieved. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.